and welcome to another episode of Straight Talk. I'm one of your hosts, Michael Stock Sr., and we have today with us Chrissy and Ross. Yeah, welcome. How are you doing? Doing okay. We have, uh, we've been off for a little while. Mm-hmm. Not much time, <laughs> but um, it seems like if we take a week off, there's always something that happens. In between. <laughs> We're going to discuss, uh, I guess, some of the uh, press releases that had come out in regards to uh, Chief Carl Horn and uh, Chief Kasanahoe. Kasanahoe. Um, Kasanahoe Sky Deer. Sky Deer. Um, they were both being investigated for complaints, and, um, and, and I guess there's some, been some controversial results, mm-hmm. to say the least. Well, to me again, it's it's about it's about process. If you say that there's there's a process in place that this is the way that you do things right and proper, then you look at the result and you go, what what happened? What's that all about? What's going on? I know it's 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 been um, it's something I guess that um, it seems like there's so much inconsistencies within I guess the council itself, and it, and it begs to uh, about. Fairness, you know, is there is there any fairness within at the Moa Council table? It doesn't seem to be. It's, it seems to be uh, depending on who you are and whether you're rocking the boat or not. Because we've had a long history in this community ab- about that, about interpretation um, on what somebody's doing, whether it's improper or whether it's not improper, and what are the decisions that are doing, and and how does Moa Council in in this case and in all the other cases become the, become the, the judge afterwards. The judge and the jury. <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. Appointed and it by uh, appointed by that body. That's exactly Stop right. You know, so, and that's been some of the things that in this community that um, there's been so much complaints about, mm-hmm. and um, there's still what's the recourse though. Well, the question that I would have is is again you know, the process as it has as it has come about has been one which has been enacted by the table, to be conducted by the table, to be decided by the table, uh, which brings into play lawyers who do investigations and make recommendations to which counsel doesn't have to accept, and plainly didn't in both cases, in two different directions. Uh, and, and it begs the question, well, you know, if, if we talk about things like election, election reform, election laws, how do we make things more transparent and, and, and better? Why is it that we can discuss it, uh, about how, quote unquote, the people select their leaders, elect their leaders, but they have no part in, 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 in arriving at the decision to say, well, you know what, um, we, we, we voted Carl Horn to be on council. Mm-hmm. We're the people who put him there, not those other however many people are at the table. That somewhat, you know, somebody brought up that, that it, that's an apparent, to, at least to some people's eyes, and I'm not going to argue with, with council over this, but a conflict of interest. A hundred percent, and then that seems to be, I guess, what a lot of people are have been complaining about and are still complaining about um, about the inconsistencies and, and the waste of money. Mm-hmm. How many times in, in the past years has Moa Council spent thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars, if not more, um, to hire investigators uh, to do an investigation on, on a complaint that, um, that they received and never taken any of the recommendations? None. In this, in this situation, as far as Carl was concerned, there was uh, recommendations not to take an act of absentia against him. And they, they didn't listen to that. They did it anyway. Mm-hmm. And, in, and in Gus's situation was to do it, and they didn't do it. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Is, is, does, does it look like, like there's, um, I don't know, favoritism somewhere? I mean, well, by, well, to the community. You pose the question, but anybody who looks at that has to ask that question, you know. And maybe, maybe, they have a, maybe they have a better explanation. Maybe they have a feasible explanation, but, but it's a, then it's a failure of transparency because this never went to the people in any way. It, it, to my mind, if you want to do this kind of a thing, then you would take this and you would say, these are the facts, these are the things that we've gathered near as we can tell, and then we want to bring it to the community, okay? And hear both sides of the story to, to the community. 
and let the community decide on whether or not somebody should be censured, whether somebody should be removed from office, whatever the degree it may be. And, and I think that's one of the big things that, that even with, um, with Keith Moyo in the past was that um, I don't think at the end of the day people really um, felt that maybe it was the, the wrong or right thing to do, but it was the process of doing it and to have that table um, to do that because basically if you're going to have, um, I guess, a judge or a jury of your peers, it, it, are your peers sitting at that table or are your peers community members? Mm -hmm. And who makes that decision? Especially now when we're winding down to an election, you know, how is that? Um, how are you going to people take that? Is it, is it, tarnish, is it going to tarnish uh, Carl's uh, career? Mm -hmm. in the next election or, or is it going to help it or you know what I mean because everything that happens there you have to look at whether or not it's going to affect them politically down the road although it's not I mean an act of censure is not uh, it, it's like a letter of reprimand more mm -hmm. or less slap you on the wrist and say don't do that again yeah but it can be up to there's up to the removal of a chief from office the thing is that the in the um the, um, the disciplinary measures uh, policy, it, there is a mechanism in there whereby if, if you, you know, Mike, if, you, if you're on council and you've been censured, say, three times, this is going to have an impact whether you'll ever be able to run again. You I know? mean, it somebody at the table decides on on whether, whether you've acted in the best interests of the community. Later on in this show, uh, we're going to have two technicians from the Mohawk Council uh, to discuss the election law and stuff like that. I mean, although disciplinary measures aren't, aren't, may not be part of that, um, that is maybe a question that, that we can bring up or to, to them as far as it kicks how is that going, how would process. that affect them and is it going to yeah. be part, and is yeah. it going to be part of, of the election law or are they going to entertain that? But I just want to read something quick, just just so uh, people did, uh, yeah, because, like, just so people is, understand, understand what, what we're talking about what, the, here, yeah. what an act of uh, censure is in, in regards to the interpretation, mm -hmm. um, whether it's whether it's online, you go look, or or whether uh, Mohawk Council's definition of it, an act of censure means the procedure of the sanctioning of an elected chief for one of the reasons mentioned in Section Four Two of the present regulations. Uh, acting in bad faith, and then it, it ex explains dishonesty, fraudulent intention to design or harm the interest of the people of, of Gunawagi, the lands, water, and other assets, or Moa Council, its members, employees, agents, and and then then it, it explains more about the mm -hmm. betrayal of trust and stuff like that. But in in the um, I guess in the report that was con uh, that was given to the Moa Council was a thirty page report. And there was some recommendations at the end as far as that was concerned. There was some, um, they found in the report itself that there was, um, I guess, a lot of discrepancies and accuracies and uh, misleading information that they weren't able to, to figure out. Mm -hmm. Although that they said that there may, Carl did act in, in or didn't act in, in bad faith. He acted in good faith, that they felt that maybe... Um, he should have been advised not to do it again, mm -hmm. but not there was no recommendations for an act in absentia. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it did it did talk about a lot of things, and it did talk a lot about the investigation, <clears throat> um, but it also it also said that there shouldn't have been, you know, the council shouldn't have acted on on those. Actually, the recommendations were for him not to not not they, to be censured, and they did mm -hmm. not to be censured. So. You know, I guess, remember I said this before, I said when Carl, at one of the first interviews, I, when he said that um, he had 12 friends, he made 12 new friends, I think he lost a bunch of them at that meeting. Because um, how can you, at the end of the day, um, have a judgment, and, and that, that's a judgment uh, from your peers sitting at the table, um, saying that you did something wrong when a report says that, you know, that, that you didn't. we don't feel that, that you did. Mm -hmm. and then have them sit there and say that, well, it's too bad. We're going to take the recommendations or not to take those recommendations and we're going to go ahead mm -hmm. and do what we want. How do, you get, how do you get him or anybody else in that situation, for that matter, um, to back you up in the situation later on when it comes to a vote? You, but you, you, one of the things that makes me think about is, 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 is why would anybody want to run for council? Uh, 
and think that this is this is what you were going to end up with because you what you go against the will of the table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's sort of a good it's dividing. Like, it's a dividing <laughs> conquer more or less, you know. Well, you're walking to. It's like walking into a toxic environment. Uh, in a lot of ways, on the face mm -hmm. of it, is, it, it to me, it, it feel, just the, the thing that's so intriguing about this is, is a unanimous vote to censor him, in spite of what the recommendation was from the lawyer that they contracted to conduct an investigation and spent community money on. Okay, and then they say, well, regardless, we're going to have a vote and we're going to vote unanimously against him by secret ballot. But you know what I don't understand. Uh, but 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 but, the, but with but with the other person. The perception now is, you know, because well, she's part of the team. Mm -hmm. So regardless of what the person said on any one of those things, which was only one, she only recommended censure for one of the, the particular complaints. Uh, in spite of that, well, it doesn't matter. We're voting not to censure. But that's why, you know, and, and that's why, unfortunately, Mohawk Council is losing a lot of credibility when it comes to uh, having the, the, the people uh, accept or not accept some of the things that they decide to do um, for the betterment of the community. I'm not saying that everything that they're doing is wrong, but how can people in the community accept anything or or trust their judgment when and when on the on the outside looking in, it doesn't look like they're they're making good judgment. How does that look now in, in all those in most majority of the cases is that any recommendations that were done from the outside investigators in, in any situation, Mohawk Council has never taken the recommendations. How is that going to work in the future or with um, the casino issue? Now they're taking, they're, they're, they have uh, somebody doing an investigation and they're, you know, they're compiling all this information and spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to get it done. And at the end of the day, what if they recommend that, um, no, the community said no twice, um, don't do it again. Do you think actually they're going to listen to that? No. Well, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a record saying this. That that's, <laughs> that the casino is, forget about it. I don't even see a referendum. But, the, yeah. but one, more, one more thing that I wanted to just bring up is, is when I was looking at this information, somebody brought it to my attention and, be, and I, didn't, I read it, but I, mm -hmm. I, I didn't, it didn't click as to how that was working out. We know that um, Peggy's off, right? Mm -hmm. And Johnny Montour is, is no longer with no the Mohawk Council, there. so there's 11 chiefs, but because Peggy's off, there's only 10, correct? So in, in Carl's situation, it said it was unanimous, which was seven people. So that was the seven at the table, but the three that, that couldn't was Kenneth because it's, he's his uncle, Gus because she's involved in another file, and obviously Carl, so that leaves seven people that, um, that would be at the Mohawk Council because the other two aren't there at, at all. Right? That's your 12. But in Gus's situation, there was eight. How do you get eight? Because, again, you can't have Kenneth um, vote because he's Carl's uncle. You can't have Carl vote because it's a conflict of interest, and she can't. So that still brings it back to 10. But they had, uh, what did they have? Eight, five, and eight. So who was the last one? That's, that's, <laughs> did they call Peggy in? The, well, that's the question. Well, the, or, did, or did she vote by phone? Yeah. Or do you come back now and say, <laughs> uh, uh, backwards and say, oh, it's a typo. You know? Well, no, it's just little, <laughs> it it, it's just little inconsistencies <laughs> like that that just um, beg you to start asking more questions about everything. So, I mean, like, we're not, I'm not saying, I know, like, for me, I'm not saying that, like, everything, like you said, not everything they do is wrong. They're not doing it with the with bad intentions, but as a community member and as We're somebody and as and as a layman looking in, like a community member looking in and not necessarily understanding everything that's going on in the inside, because we haven't been given that information, you know, this is what we get, and you know, this is kind of what we see. So, but, but, like but you know, yeah, no, 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 that's okay. what I've been told. Chrissy, Chrissy. No, <laughs> no, very, no you're very, very fair to say that, but uh, but I'm picking up on something that Mike said. You know, we hope we hope that we that hope, it's yeah, that way. Course. But you know, but but more and more to me, I, I raise the question and say, what are what are the indicators though? What mm -hmm. does the behavior indicate? Mm -hmm. If I look at a document and it says that that the Mohawk count this table, okay? If you look, here, there's a there's a there's a policy in there about discipline, and and it's acting on the will of the community. How? 
What will? Where was that expressed? In what way was that expressed? Where did the community say, this is the way we want things done? I don't know, you know but, but you're, you're putting that veneer on it, and then from there you're going you're gonna to use that to stamp and sanction it, the will of the community. And that, uh, to me, is an issue. It's a concern. So, you know, it's, it's um, I guess, I don't, well, I don't know, mm -hmm. but um, I'm going to assume <laughs> that um, Carl is not happy with um, the decision mm -hmm. and that there is an appeal process in place. And I guess it's a wait and see how that is going to play itself out. As far as uh, Gus's situation, I'm sure that um, the results of that, of the investigation, the family who's involved, who made the complaint, probably aren't too happy mm -hmm. with the results based on what the recommendations were. Obviously, if the recommendation said that she didn't, she didn't do anything wrong, then you live with that. But yeah. when it says that there is a possibility that she had done something wrong and then that there should be a sanction, as the people making a complaint should say, well, then I expect something to be done. Unfortunately, there wasn't. So I guess we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see how that, how that comes about. And, um, you know, we have to take a break. And uh, after the break, we have um, Trina Daibo and Jeffrey Daibo, uh, technicians from the Mohawk Council, coming in uh, to talk about the election law. And um, from there, I guess we'll see if there's any new develops, development that is going to happen. <laughs> but we'll do that right after these messages.